In this presentation, we will discuss two different gate problems on complement of an element. So, without any further delay, let's get started. Consider this problem. The complement or complements of the element A in the lattice shown in below figure is R what? This is the hash diagram available in front of us. This is actually a lattice. We have to find the complement or complements of this particular element A. This question has been asked in gate 1993. I would encourage you to pause the video for a while and try to answer this question on your own. I hope you're done. Okay, let's move on to the solution. We are available with this lattice. Let's use the trial and error method to find the complements of A. First of all, greatest element in this lattice is I. There's no doubt about this. And least element is O. Why is that so? See this. I is the greatest element because every other element is related to Y. You can see this. O is the least element because O is related to every other element. Isn't that so? Therefore, greatest element in this particular lattice is I and least element is O. Fine. Now, let's use the trial and error method to find the complement or complements of this particular element. Let's say D is the complement of A. Let us suppose that this element is the complement of A. In that case, according to the definition of complement, A or D or D or A must be equal to 1. D and A must be equal to 0. This means least upper bound of D and A must be equal to 1 or I. And greatest lower bound of D and A must be equal to 0 or O. Let's see this over here. Least upper bound of D and A is actually equal to I. And greatest lower bound of D and A is actually equal to O. Right? D or A is equal to I and D and A is equal to O. Therefore, D is the complement of A. Similarly, B is also the complement of A. Because least upper bound of B and A is I. And greatest lower bound of B and A is O. They meet at this point, right? After this, C is also the complement of A because least upper bound of C and A is I, greatest lower bound of C and A is O. And we can also say that E is the complement of A because greatest lower bound of E and A is O and least upper bound of E and A is I. Hence, it is clear that B, C and E are the complements of A. And finally, we can say B, C, D and E are all complements of A. There are total four complements of A. Let me tell you why I is not the complement of A. If we find the least upper bound of A and I, then obviously it is I. But what about the greatest lower bound? Greatest lower bound of A and I is actually A, right? And similarly, O is not the complement of A. Because least upper bound of O and A is actually A. It is not I. Hence, it is clear that O and I are not complements of A. But D, B, C and E are complements of A. Fine. So, there are total four complements. B, C, D and E. Okay, let's consider problem 2. In the lattice defined by the hash diagram given in the following figure, how many complements does the element E have? This is the hash diagram available in front of you. You have to find how many complements does the element E have. This question has been asked in gate 1997. I would encourage you to pause the video for a while and try to find the solution to this problem. I hope you're done. Okay, let's move on to the solution. G is the complement of E because least upper bound of G and E is 1 or A. And greatest lower bound of G and E is 0 or F. You can verify this. Let me tell you that the least element in this particular lattice is F and greatest element is A. You can verify this. Greatest lower bound of G and E is F. Right? Greatest lower bound of G and E is F. And least upper bound of G and E is A. Right? Therefore, G is the complement of E. C is the complement of E because C or E or least upper bound of C and E is 1 and greatest lower bound of C and E is 0. Or in other words, least upper bound of C and E is A and greatest lower bound of C and E is F. Consider these two elements C and E. Greatest lower bound of C and E is F 
they meet at this point this is the first meeting point right if we trace the path down from these two vertices we can see that they meet at this point after this least upper bound of c and e is a right therefore c is the complement of e d is the complement of e because d or e is 1 d and e is 0 or d or e is a and d and e is f right this is also true least upper bound of d and e is a greatest lower bound of d and e is f right hence d is the complement of e okay it is clear that g c and d are all complements of e isn't that so g c and d are all complements of e apart from this no other element is complement of e hence option b is the correct option you can see that this option is the correct option there are total 3 complements of e g c and d are all complements of e there are total 3 complements of e hence option b is the correct option okay friends this is it for now thank you for watching this presentation